Last year, something big changed. New artificial intelligence systems. There's been an awful lot of excitement. Chat GPT. But a robot made it. Artificial intelligence went from a vaguely terrifying, far-flung sci-fi thought experiment. Schools are concerned about this. Ethical risks. Conversation with the chatbot took a wild turn. To a suite of mind-boggling tools that we can use in our daily lives. Chat GPT is writing students' essays. Cars are driving themselves and text-to-image generators are winning awards and beginning to bridge the notorious uncanny valley. Well, almost. It seems like artificial intelligence is at an inflection point. But what does that mean for the world of finance? And specifically, for trading and investing? And the big question, can AI beat the market? If that piques your curiosity, stay tuned for a deep dive. But before we get into it, I want to tell you about our channel. Here at Capital.com, we make explainer videos about investing and economics, giving you the insights you need to understand what's going on in the markets and to make informed trading decisions. We're also a trading platform ourselves, so you can make your trades right on our website or using our app. After this, you might want to check out our film about the energy crisis. That's a good one. But now, back to AI. Artificial intelligence is already being used in finance, and we'll get to the details of that in just a minute. But AI trading is just the latest chapter in the long history of technology's dramatic disruption of the trading floor. The computerization of the finance world has been going on for decades, automating rote tasks that humans are slow at, and making markets more efficient. As computers became more powerful in the 1980s, they enabled an entirely new approach known as algorithmic trading, which relies on a set of programmed rules, or algorithms, to allow faster trading in bigger numbers than ever before. To be clear, algorithms aren't the same as AI, but they planted the seeds for the rapid automation of many aspects of trading over the ensuing decades. The scalability and efficiency of trading enabled by algorithms made way for high-frequency trading and quant funds, which heavily rely on algorithms to automate fast, efficient trades in bulk, aiming to capitalize on market inefficiencies while also injecting liquidity into the market. The rise of algorithms in finance have certainly left their mark. Nowadays, the vast majority of trades closed every single day are executed using algorithms. These algorithms have not only become more ubiquitous over the years, but advancements in AI and computing technology have also made them smarter and more sophisticated. In general, what makes AI and algorithms so powerful in finance is their ability to sift through huge amounts of data really quickly, identifying trends and patterns that would take humans a long time to find, if they would find them at all, and using those insights to spit out optimized price forecasts, risk assessments, balanced portfolios, and the holy grail, potentially market-beating trades. More and more hedge funds are relying on AI to varying degrees. Oftentimes it's used under human supervision or just to spit out trading ideas. Increasingly though, funds are allowing AI systems to take the wheel and execute trades as well, though this is still the exception. So this begs the question, how is the increase of algorithmic and AI trading impacting market dynamics? Well, for one thing, computerized trading has been blamed for price shocks in the past, going back to 1987, when markets plunged on so-called Black Monday. Good evening. Today is Black Monday, the day the Dow dropped more than 500 points. Stock markets fell faster than a skydiver without a parachute. The post-mortem of that event implicated computer programs for amplifying the decline, as the initial dip triggered billions of algorithms to sell. Now fast forward to May 6th, 2010, when markets plunged 1,000 points before partially recovering within the hour, wiping nearly a trillion dollars off the market. The SEC investigated and pointed the finger at algorithms used by high-frequency traders which were triggered to sell en masse. These so-called flash crashes, rapid but fleeting declines in market value, have happened a few times and algorithms are often implicated as the culprit. But now for the big question. Is AI really better than humans at trading? And 
Can it beat the stock market? AI has already beaten us at some of our most prized demonstrations of human intellect, such as chess, Go, and Jeopardy. Watson, what is narcolepsy? You are right, and with that, you move to 36,681. So can AI beat humans at making money? There's been quite a bit of hype surrounding AI's potential to deliver alpha, or market-beating returns, but the details of AI investing models are often held close to the chest by funds who develop and use them, and the little available evidence is mixed. One paper found that the performance of AI trading has likely been overhyped and bolstered by cherry-picked data. Most hedge funds using AI keep their data secret, but there are a few indicators we can look at to test AI's financial performance. The first AI-curated ETF, called AI-Powered Equity, launched in 2017, and on the whole, it has underperformed the S&P 500 most of the time since its inception. Five years is perhaps too soon for a verdict, but long enough to make you wonder. So on the question of whether AI can beat the market, the best we can say at this point is maybe soon, but probably not yet. The jury is still out on this one. AI isn't only used by professionals, it's also becoming more accessible to retail traders through so-called robo-advisors. These are automated services that provide personalized financial advice using algorithms, and occasionally more advanced AI systems. They're growing in popularity. It's estimated that robo-advisors will look after 10% of all assets under management by 2025. And there may be good reason for that. They're much more affordable than a living, breathing financial advisor, and robots come without any of the biases that human brains are so prone to. It's also worth noting that most robo-advisors don't use true artificial intelligence, though many of the most successful ones do. But how well do they work? Again, it's too early to say with much confidence. Some findings suggest they deliver better risk-adjusted performance. Others stress that robo-advisors aren't designed to beat the market. Instead, they often take an index-based approach and just try to match it. Finally, let's take a look at what the big shots and leading thinkers of investing in finance today are saying about AI. Ray Dalio, who runs Bridgewater, the world's largest hedge fund, is on record as a strong believer in the potential for AI to improve decision-making. Under Larry Fink's direction, BlackRock has also replaced some of its financial managers with algorithms and embraced the shift towards artificial intelligence in finance. Jamie Dimon, chairman and CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, wrote last year of his firm's commitment to investing in AI. Mark Cuban and Kathy Wood are both big believers in the potential for AI. And I'll leave you with this semi-related quote from heavyweight investor Carl Icahn. Some people get rich studying artificial intelligence. Me? I make money studying natural stupidity. What does this all mean for retail traders? Well, as things stand, most AI in finance is relegated to the world of professional traders, Wall Street types, hedge fund managers, and the like. But not even the most advanced AI you could dream of could guarantee profit on the stock market. That would require something technology cannot do, which is predicting the future. So until humans invent a functioning crystal ball or time machine, beating the market remains an elusive goal. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this film interesting. If you did, you can find more like it on our channel. If you want to trade the markets, Capital.com provides the tools and insights you need to learn, trade, and invest smarter. Tap into up-to-the-minute market insights and trading signal tools, the Capital.com Academy, and watch more of our cutting-edge films, all for free. And the Capital.com platform offers thousands of instruments on global markets that can be traded as CFDs. Just tap the link in the description or search for Capital.com in the App Store. And I'll see you next time.